What's going on guys? It's your boy KNJB and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make your she fuel. Now, um, a lot of people have been asking me how I make my G fuel and stuff like that. I'm just kidding. Nobody asked me that question because nobody cares, but I'm making a video on it because um, I'm kind of thirsty for content, not gonna lie. Um, I did record some clips at school today, but it's like nothing to make a huge video of, so that's why I'm kind of making this. Um, I'm making this because it didn't have enough content in it, and I'm, I need to put it in a video. So I'm just going to put it at the end of this video, so there's clips of me at school um, with boys at the end. So, stick around to the end of the video, or just skip to the end of the video, I don't care, I'm still getting views for it, so skip to the end of the video. So, I'm going to teach you guys how I make my G. Okay, so... Number one, you take the top off of the cup and you take the top off of the cup and you also take the filter out of the cup because then it just gets in the way. And then you're gonna you're gonna wanna take your cup, the cup, and you're gonna wanna go to your ice machine, or if you don't have one of these, then just you know, just make ice cubes. So you wanna fill it up to about I'll show you guys how I like my ice. Um Right about there. So, right about there with ice cubes. So, like, right about to the... Almost to the 400. Not even. The underneath. Because um, I'm going to be making peach iced tea in this. But the problem with peach iced tea is sometimes it can get, like, too, like, hot. And peach iced tea, like, if you guys have let peach iced tea sit for a while, it tastes disgusting. So, here it is. So, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to here. And you're going to want to fill up the water all the way up to about my shaking really bad dude sorry right there so like right about where the little stop it's like right about there you're going to want to stop it with water because then it just gets to too much okay so then of course you're going to want to get your g fuel so I'm making peach iced tea. I did have Bahama Mama this morning, and, and I know a lot of people, well, a lot of my friends like that flavor a lot, but I love this flavor, and I have it a lot. Um, in fact, I have three tubs of this flavor. Um, I have four tubs of hype sauce, three tubs of this flavor, because it's my two favorite flavors. And, like, I'm kind of running low on it, if you can see. I'm working on it. But, um, so yeah, so you're going to grab your cup, like this, and there's a scooper that comes in the tubs of G Fuel. So... There's a scooper. You're going to want to get one scoop. Like, if you like your G Fuel Flay, like, like, stronger, if you like your drinks stronger, um, you can fill it up to, like, if you like your G Fuel stronger, only fill it up to, like, a little bit over. Nothing, like, majorly over. Because I have so many ice cubes in it, I'm just going to put a little extra in there. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. That was too much. But you definitely don't want to add um, too much because then it just, the flavors is like too strong and then it's just going to suck. So then you can put the filter in, but I, I usually put the, I usually put the filter in first and then the powder, but I forgot because I'm an idiot. Put the cap on. And then the recommended amount that they say, like um, the recommended time to shake this is two minutes. So. Shake it for two minutes. Look it off camera because nobody wants, like, I'm not going to do a time lapse right now because it's not a new flavor. I've already tried this flavor. But, like I said, now it's done. You shook it for two minutes. Now you can enjoy it. Um, but, so, if you guys want to know how to clean your G Fuel cups, um, how I do it is, so, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to take the cup once it's not filled anymore. So, like, I don't do one right here, actually. I just cleaned, but... So you're gonna want to take it, unscrew it, take every all of this out. Like no, no, not all of it. I'm sorry. Um, so you're just gonna want to take the lid off, fill it up with water to like about right there, cap it and shake it and repeat that. It's just a rinse. So like, cap like fill it up to like right about there with water, shake it for about th like 40, 50 seconds, dump it, fill it up with regular water again, shake it, dump it for like 40, 50 seconds, fill it up. Shake it for about 50 seconds and dump it again. Um, but the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab dish soap. So if you guys don't have, like, because I have one of these soap dispenser things, like the ones that have 
that you can put like soap, like dish soap in, and then you can pump it. Um, if you don't have one of those, just take a dish soap bottle and like squirt uh, just a little bit in there, and fill it up with water, like like right there, because the suds are gonna like do a lot of damage. And then you're gonna want to shake it up for like 50 seconds, and then you're gonna have to keep filling it up, shake it again until the suds are gone. Um, and then I do have this little like scrub thing. It's like hand scrub thing. And then I just take the filter out and like if I, I take the filter out, scrub the filter. And then I take the lid off and I go like this. And I like go like that and I wash it with the hand thing. I run out I wash around the mouthpiece and the inside because stuff will get stuck in there. So like the inside like right there, wash in there, and then like outside the cup right here. And that's how you wash it. They did, G Fuel on their website and the app does recommend for the shaker cups you do hand wash them. And for shaker cups, like let's just say a PewDiePie shaker cup, people have had incidents where if you put the shaker cup in the dishwasher, then it does melt to the dishwasher. And then that's, that's ruining the dishwasher and the cup. Most importantly, the dishwasher, because who wants to pay for another dishwasher? Literally no one. But um, hand washing your G Fuel cups, 100%. Definitely hand wash them. Especially if they have those sweet graphics on them, definitely just go with the hand washing and um, you won't regret it. Just, it takes a little bit. Um, but that's how you make G Fuel. That is how you clean your cups. Um, I will I will make a video on how to make Tall Boys. The tall Boys, the, the bigger shaker cups, the Tall Boys, I've never really talked about these. But if you go to my school, you'll see that I have Tall Boys like every Monday because Mondays suck and I need a lot of caffeine. So Tall Boys. So, how to make tall boys, because they are different than regular size. Like, there's an obvious size difference there. But, my, um, I will have, because this video will be up today, which is Friday, on the 23rd. Um, it's X's birthday, by the way, so. Yeah, it's X's birthday. But, um, today's the 23rd, Friday. Um, this video will probably come out today on Friday. Um, I know it will come out today on Friday, because that's when I the clips and stuff but to like i yesterday thursday i recorded blue ice i just didn't post it and um, i'm probably not gonna be posting it till tomorrow because honestly i don't think i'm gonna have the energy to post tomorrow so i'm just gonna post that tomorrow so you guys have something but that was today's video um enjoy these next clips um excuse evan in one of the clips he's a wild boy but so yeah enjoy these clips and i'll see you guys in the next video Evan, the vlog. He's a naughty boy. Don't.